Shopping at a craft store is handy for finding things you can use in the nails. Like here's some foil, some flex, some glitter. What you want to look at in your glitters is that they're really, really fine. See how small those glitter pieces are? You can use shreds. They kind of look like this. Something that you're looking for when you're looking at your colors is maybe that it's solid colored. You want to see how when I go across these you can see a green tint to all of them. Those are iridescent. You want to be careful when you're purchasing iridescents because sometimes they overpower as green. Here are little micro beads. Some of these shapes would be okay for trapping in enhancements, but you want to be careful with like polishes and shellac because they're difficult to lay flat to the nail. Another thing that you can do is not only find things to place in the nails, but also find inspiration. Like I'm looking at some of these crafting papers. This would be really fun. Here's some snowflake ideas. Here's some animal print. So looking beyond just things that are obvious and kind of taking a look at maybe some of the paper styles. Sometimes down low you can find the refill sizes for your favorite glitters. So don't be afraid to look beyond just what's right at eye level. Something else we can see with our nail eyes is storage. A lot of times scrapbooking bags have lots of pockets. So you could use them for prep products, etc. Or things you don't have room for in your nail table but that you need that could go in a closet and be stored in the bag when you're not using them. Here we find glitter back in the fabric section. So, so far we've been in the scrapbooking section, the crafting section, and the fabric section. Again, just look at the pieces. These are fairly large. And then if you look at these up here, these are smaller. So just look around at all the different sections and you find different colors, different types of colors, different random brands. And what you're looking for is the size. Beware when you find gemstones. They're usually a little too large for the nails. And just keep looking around the different sections. You never know what you're going to find on clearance in the bridal section, so always be sure to stop by. In the section on clearance today, they've got some cute organza bags, some little pillow boxes, and these are all random things that you could use in the salon for maybe different prizes, different retail things. You can stash them away until Christmas. So definitely always make sure you stop by the bridal section to see what they have on clearance because you never know what you'll find that could be fun for your ritual tray or other things. Here's some sheets of transfer foil. So that's one of the things that you can use is transfer foil. Now I'm in a clay aisle. So this is where you would find lots of clay at the craft store. And here are some transfer foils. These come with different types of sheets in the container. These are some really fun ones to work with. It's Lisa, however you say that last name. And they're called crafting foils. Another option that you have back here are some small glitters. So as you can see from storage to organization to client gifts and salon decoration as well as things you can put in the nails, the craft store can be a lot of fun. Just use your nail eyes.